Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve if you're having an issue with the shellhost.exe having a high amount of CPU or disk usage on your computer. So this is generally responsible for the start menu activities on your computer, but if you notice that there's a really high amount of CPU or, or disk usage, like I said, this tutorial should hopefully be able to fix that and lower it down quite a bit. So we're going to jump into it and we're going to start by opening up the start menu. I'll click on the start button one time. Type in CMD. Best match should come back with command prompt. You want to right click on it. Left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. Now in this LV command line window, you want to go ahead and type in net, so NET space user space administrator. Exactly, it appears on my screen. So net user administrator and then another space forward slash active and then you want to do a colon so one dot on top of another dot you don't want to do the dot on top of a comma just again one dot on top of another dot and then yes so no spaces in between active and yes shall be attached to that forward slash so again net space user space administrator and another space forward slash active yes with a colon in between active and yes hit enter on your keyboard should say the command completed successfully close out of here now I would suggest right clicking on your taskbar left click on task manager left click on more details now you want to go down and left click on the start button again type in MS config best match should come back with system configuration left click on that one time Left click on the boot tab and you want to check mark underneath boot options where it says safe boot. You want to select minimal and then left click on apply and OK. It will say you might need to restart your computer to apply these changes before restarting. Save any open files and close all programs. Left click on restart here.
So now that we're in safe mode, you want to right click on the start button one time, left click on where it says shut down or sign out, and then left click on sign out. Again, you all want to shut down. We're going to try and get into our administrator account that we just created here, or we're going to try and get into our administrator account that we just activated. So now you want to left click on the administrator account on the bottom left corner, and then left click on sign in. Now it will take a couple minutes to set up the account, so just don't be surprised about that. It should take a moment here though. Okay, so now that we are in this account here, you want to go ahead and left click on the file explorer icon near the bottom left corner near your start button. So you just want to left click on that one time. You can also search for it in the start menu as well. Now you want to left click on the view tab up at the top. Left click on it one time. Head over to options. Left click on that. And left click on the view tab. Underneath hidden files and folders you want to select show hidden files folders and drives. Left click on apply and OK. Once you're done with that, go ahead and left click on this PC on the left side here. Go underneath whatever your local disk is that's showing up here. So double click on that, whichever one Windows is installed on. Double click on the Users folder now. Do the same thing for the Administrator folder. Do the same thing for the App Data folder. Local. Open up your user account, app data, local. Okay, so underneath local, there should be a folder that says packages. You want to double click on it. And now there should be a package that says Microsoft.Windows.Shell Experience Host. So you want to scroll down here, right here, make it a little wider here so you can see. It should look exactly like this file right here. So Microsoft.Windows.Shell host, and then there's going to be some random letters at the end of it. You want to right click on it, left click on rename. You want to just add a dot .bak on the end. So again, dot .bak, exactly it appears on my screen here. Hit enter on your keyboard. Once you're done with that, close out of here. Now you want to right click on the start button, left click on run. Type in msconfig. Again, exactly as it appears on my screen, so msconfig, left click on OK. Left click on the boot tab, underneath safe boot, you want to just uncheck that. And go back to general, load all device drivers and services, left click on apply and OK. Left click on restart.
So now that we're actually logged into the administrator account, you want to sign out of it. So I'm going to just take a minute for the uh, desktop interface to load here. So it's trying to get you to set up your administrator account. So I'm actually going to turn most of the stuff off right here because we're going to be disabling this account anyway once we accept the terms. And now we're going to just sign out of our administrator account that we just got signed into. It's no longer needed. We've gone through safe mode with the administrator account. So we're going to go ahead over and right click on the start button now. Left click on where it says shut down or sign out. Left click on where it says sign out. Now we're going to just go up the block screen here. We're going to select our main user account. Left click on where it says sign in. Okay, so once we've gone back into our Windows main user account, we're going to go open up the Start menu. And into the Start menu, you want to go ahead and type in CMD. Best match should come back with Command Prompt. You want to go ahead and right click on CMD or Command Prompt, whichever one comes up first. And then left click on Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, left click on Yes. And now into this elevated command line window to finish off this tutorial, we are going to type in net space user space administrator. You want to make sure you spell it correctly. And then forward slash active colon no. So net user administrator space forward slash active colon no. Exactly the same thing we typed in before except instead of saying yes, we're saying no after active and then you want to hit enter on your keyboard command completed successfully and you should be good to go at this point so i do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out and as always thank you for watching and i do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye